What is going on, guys? It's Scott with NeverHedge, and today uh, I've been getting into the Unity game design platform. So I figured I'm still like a complete white belt in this, uh, but I figured I would show you guys one of these tutorials that they have. Uh, you know, if you're thinking about getting into Unity and uh, maybe want to see what the what the tutorials look like, how hard they are, things like that. I think it'd be pretty good for that. Uh, maybe we'll both learn something together today. So uh, let's jump right into it. And I've done uh, one of the, I did one of these last night, the Lego one, uh, which was pretty good. Oh, Jesus. All right, so right now we are gonna be designing a little kart racing game. So this looks pretty basic. Boom. All right, done. Did that. All right, now we're getting started. Uh, let's see, select the player game object. Next, let's make the player's cart go faster. Okay, excellent. So we're gonna adjust the base stats. Uh, let's increase it. Can we go higher than 20? Let's go to 50. I won't let us go to 50. We gotta play by the rules here. All right, 20. Boom, let's try it again. Oh, this is much better. And this is a simple WASD, not even using the mouse for anything. But as we can see, it's a pretty fucking boring game. So we're gonna get into some editor basics next. So in the next step, we're gonna learn more about the Unity editor. Yes, we need that. All right, so let's go and hit the hand tool. And let's see what we can see here. All right, got a pretty basic track. And if we hold the Alt button uh, while we have the hand tool, we can pan around like this. And then the hand tool, we can actually move the camera or the viewpoint and then hold that Alt button. And then slide it around like that. To zoom, we can scroll backwards on the mouse or scroll inwards. Okay, orbit the scene. Yep, see? I'm already more advanced than the tutorial already after one day in Unity. So, all right, yep, yeah, look at that. Already ahead of the game. All right, so this is our project window down here. This is where we have all of our assets that we're gonna use to modify the game. And let's change those colors out. So this is our hierarchy of uh, game objects here. And what we're gonna do is change the cart color. So. Let's make our very own Never Hedge cart. So we're gonna need some nice purple. Let me change any more colors. But purple and goldish will do just fine. The Mauve Avenger. Boom. All right, did that with our upgraded purple cart. Oh, let's add a nice little jump in here. Now, 
Now this jump is facing the wrong direction. So we gotta come up here. And All right, that might do something. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look at the jump we just made. This might launch us to the moon. Oh, sweet mother of God. The jump was absolutely upside down. Classic. Alright, well, let's do some more stuff with this. Okay. Publisher window. And we're going to want to build and publish. Switch over to WebGL. Uh, okay. We just uh, published that game to the Unity platform. Uh, so that was cool. All right, so that was pretty easy. It's it's good to do these things, though, because you know, they kind of all build upon each other. And I think this would have been a little bit more difficult for me had I not already completed... Uh, a different tutorial on the in uh, creating a Lego micro game last night. So I'm going to be doing more of these for you guys and eventually I'm going to be working on building a couple uh, mini games from scratch uh, with you guys so you can see kind of over the shoulder what I'm doing here and I'll, uh, I'll throw them up on the uh, Unity store there for free. Uh, hopefully they're, hopefully I get good at this to make a decent game for you guys but uh, that is pretty much all I got for you today so as always please make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more Unity tutorials uh, and I thank you guys so much for watching this far and I will see you in the next video.